Karthik. I'm the CTO at Zalora Group. I am also one of the original co-founders. Zalora is a uh, Singapore headquartered uh, Southeast Asian online fashion business. Uh, we have about 1,500 people uh, across these markets that we serve, and uh, we're predominantly in the business of selling clothes, shoes, and handbags to uh, men and women in their 20s or early 30s. So Zalora, at this point, uh, we have uh, an active app install base of 20 million users in Southeast Asia. For us, I think our key mission statement is uh, fashion on demand 24-7, as quickly and as conveniently as the customer wants at, at her doorstep, uh, if necessary, in the blink of an eye. And you know, this encompasses the entire customer and brand promise that then is delivered through the tech platform that we run on Amazon Web Services. We moved to the cloud and AWS primarily because uh, you know, the business was growing at uh, an average of 100% in the first three, four years of our existence. In the physical server world, you have to manage your own backups, you have to manage your own failovers, you have to clean up logs on your servers. I mean, it, it, it does get quite cumbersome. All of this gets in the way of being a very nimble, agile, fast startup company that is able to match uh, demand with supply. And uh, for us, Amazon Web Services allowed us to do that. Um, without sounding dramatic in the blink of an eye. We outgrew what the server world offered to us and it was just the right time for us to switch over into a provider like uh, Amazon Web Services. So I think with AWS, we've um, managed to nail auto scaling uh, really well uh, on Amazon EC2. So we, we don't really worry about how much traffic we get because the platform just scales horizontally as and when demand increases. The main things that we use AWS for are all of our customer-facing technology runs on AWS. So the Zolora iOS app, the Android app, the product catalog, the search facility, checkout, payments, all of that runs on AWS. In addition to that, all of our back-end systems run on AWS. So our warehouses run our software, which run on AWS. So the pick, pack, ship, inbound, outbound, the absolute nuts and bolts of retail, they all run on uh, the cloud. We don't spend a single dollar on servers for the last uh, 16 months. I mean, we've, we're completely on AWS. We use Amazon EC2, Redshift, S3, and RDS uh, with AWS Lambda. One of the examples of uh, how we use these services together is our operational data warehouse, which our buying, marketing, and operations teams look at pretty much in real time for sales, ops, KPIs, and other key metrics that allow us to run the business on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, my DevOps team, which runs the tech infrastructure, is three people for all of the scale that we run. Uh, my data warehouse team that does all of the reporting on the platform side is four people. Um, you know, typically you'd, you'd expect for, for something like 300 EC2 instances, so the compute equivalent of that in the server world, you'd need a team of 10 or 15 engineers to manage that. So we're, we're able to stay very light and nimble on this front. One of the key metrics I focus on from the tech side is what is the utilization of my infrastructure. With AWS, we're, we're able to live on the edge with something like a 60% utilization for the most part, and you know, the rest of it is our risk tolerance. I would say that our infrastructure spend has stayed constant and is actually dropping because one of the biggest amounts of money we spend as a tech company um, and one of our internal goals is to keep cutting that, um, and uh, Amazon Web Services really helps us achieve that. You know, one of the metrics we always look at is what is the average page speed um, on a typical e-commerce page. It, it, there is a clear, tangible benefit to the end customer by you know, using a, pro a cloud provider that is able to scale as fast as AWS is, um, gives us the optionality that we normally wouldn't have in a, in a physical hosting setup. With Amazon Web Services, uh, is for us the primary and the only choice uh, for cloud services for the foreseeable future.